So while we were all focused on the first 2020 Democratic Party primary debate, we didn't really realize what Nancy Pelosi had done. She just gave Mitch McConnell a gigantic legislative gift. And this is on top of the passes that she keeps giving to Donald Trump time and again. Because we already know that she refuses to impeach Donald Trump. No matter what, you can't convince her. It doesn't matter that there's more than 10 instances of obstruction in the Mueller report. It doesn't matter that Donald Trump is in violation of the Emoluments Clause or violated campaign finance reforms. She doesn't want to impeach. Okay, so if you don't want to impeach, maybe you can use the influence that you have as Speaker of the House to draw attention to some of these really serious allegations recently that have been lobbed against Donald Trump. So as you all know, Trump was recently accused of rape. So is Nancy Pelosi going to use the influence that she has to draw people's eye towards that to at least have the public hold him accountable? Not really, because here's what she said about that as well. I haven't spent any time on that, she said, raising her arms in frustration. I don't know the people you're referencing. I don't know the person making the accusation. I haven't paid that much attention to it. Okay, well, that's kind of weird because you're in a position of power. And this is a very serious accusation. So you'd think that being from the opposition party... You would draw people's attention to this so that way we know what the president is doing so we can hold him accountable. But nonetheless, she doesn't care. She gives them political victory after political victory. But as I alluded to, she just gave them a legislative victory because she could give them as many political victories as she wants to. And that's still horrible. It makes the party look like shit. However, when you start giving them policy concessions, that's when you're doing real damage and you need to resign. And she did that. And she did it in a really explicit and disgusting way, presumably because she wanted to just wrap up and uh, go on vacation for the 4th. So what did she do? Well, as Zach Carter of HuffPost explains, as horror stories detailing conditions at the border began piling up this week, McConnell passed a bipartisan bill expanding funding for Trump's immigration authorities by $4.6 billion. Progressive Democrats in the House, including Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, wanted to include some basic humanitarian safeguards on that money. But Pelosi, citing resistance from self-described moderate Democrats, decided instead to just passed the Senate bill. No strings attached. The Trump administration's immigration atrocities cannot, of course, be chalked up solely to financial constraints. Its flagship immigration deterrence policy, separating children from their parents, was not adopted out of budgetary desperation. But under Pelosi's guidance, the official Democratic Party response to the Trump administration's abusing immigrant children is to give more money to the agencies the Trump administration relies on to abuse immigrant children. She just gave Mitch McConnell exactly what he wanted with zero pushback. I mean, and as I read this story, I'm reminded of all the mainstream media news pundits who always praise Nancy Pelosi. Marcos Melitzas of the Daily Coast delivered her thousands of flowers and were always told how effective she is as a leader and how she always gets Donald Trump and gets under his skin. But then you see things like this. She's not an effective leader. She's a feckless leader, as is Chuck Schumer, who was also incredibly weak. But in an interview with Jake Tapper on CNN, AOC explained why she thinks this probably passed. It's because, well, you know, they all want to get out on the 4th and uh, leave. So let's just not even debate this. Let's just give them what they want so we can all be done. The House bill passed resoundingly. There were only four Democrats that defected, including myself, from that bill. And the reason I defected is because I needed to send a message to my constituents and my folks back home. And in fact, my constituents asked me to vote no on the bill. But if it ultimately came down to it, if we needed to, if we needed 100% every single Democrat to vote on this bill, we could do it with the amendments. But the problem right now and the question at hand right now is that Mitch McConnell sent us a bill and we're just putting a big check mark on it instead of even trying to negotiate. I have indicated that I'm willing to stay here. I don't need to go home on vacation. I don't need to mm -hmm. go home to July 4th weekend. I will stay here all weekend to make sure that we get this thing done. And instead, what Mitch McConnell is doing is that he's relying on the time pressure of recess to try to ram through a bill that is completely irresponsible to the American people and to those kids on the border. So understand Nancy Pelosi, she could have used the majority that Democrats hold in the House to her advantage to get protections for human beings laid out explicitly. 
But she didn't do that, presumably because she cared more about um, getting this all done in time for everyone to take the fourth off. This reminds me of when Chuck Schumer fast-tracked a bunch of Donald Trump's judicial appointments last year because he wanted to give Democrats running for re-election the opportunity to um, campaign. I mean, how much longer are people going to defend Nancy Pelosi? How much longer will this continue to take place? She just gave Mitch McConnell a gigantic legislative gift, and she is refusing to impeach Donald Trump. In other words, what she's doing is she's allowing someone in power to be above the law, not even opening an impeachment inquiry. I don't know how anyone can be okay with this. It, it makes no sense to me. But here we are. We're in a situation where we have such an ineffective, feckless leader that gives Republicans all that they want. But because we care more about civ civility and decorum, that's okay. It's disgusting. I hope that the stories that AOC shared today of people having to drink toilet water in these migrant detention facilities, I hope that that makes Nancy Pelosi feel like shit. I hope that that keeps her up at night knowing that she has the power to do something and she could have possibly done something, but she didn't. I hope that that's on her conscience.